so I was gonna start this recording, but um my cat is kinda right here. <laughs> See, we'll go back on it. Okay, anyway, hey guys, Biscuit with another video, and today is the long, long, long-awaited part 9 on how to make a FNAF game in Scratch. Oh, so if you're wondering why Scratch 3.0 looks a little different here, it's because I installed a kind of plug-in thing called, um, Better 3.0. Uh, link will be in the description for it. It's completely free. It makes 3.0 look a lot better. You can use custom colors, you can make sprites bigger and stuff, and you can even make it look like 2.0 again. So, anyway, last episode we made the time and some cameras. This episode we're going to make the door mechanic, or we can close and open the door. So what we're simply going to do is create a new sprite. We're going to name this sprite door, obviously. This is going to be the door button, essentially. For my doors, I usually like making them red on the inside, and then outlined in black, so... Need to show you here. Kind of something like that. And just to make it a little bit more detailed, I usually put a square in the middle just like that. There. And that's usually what I do for my door buttons. Pretty simple. And anyway, now we're going to go to the code. We're going to, of course, go when flag is clicked, hide. We don't need it to show or anything. We're going to figure out the coordinates later, but we want to set the size to something around 75%, so it's easier to see and doesn't take as much. Oh, let's actually do 65% for now. Oh, it, I make, made it hide. Okay, yeah. 65% is pretty good. So now what we're going to do is when I receive, see here, office, so aka when the game starts, show, and put show, go to front. We're also going to put a forever loop under here and go to front, because we forever want it to go to the front, so you can constantly click it, unless, of course, when the cameras are not in the game. Anyway, once we've done that, we want to do another when I receive, and this is going to be when I receive cam up, hide. Of course, we want to hide it when we receive the cam up, we obviously don't want it showing, this is fairly simple. And then we're going to duplicate that, and then be when I receive cam down we're gonna actually wait 0 0.5 seconds show and then go to front of course so anyway now that we've done that code we've set up the fairly basic door code but we're not quite done yet as you can see we haven't really set up anything or when the sprite is clicked we're also gonna do something that makes it actually follow the screen so you know how our office scrolls we have this code essentially here. We want to put that code inside here essentially. Just like that so it doesn't lag out. So essentially it's going to follow the office too and apply the same things. Anyway, and just of course instead of size 125 set it to 65%. Anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to go when spread is clicked. <coughs> so um, when spread is clicked broadcast new message and this is going to be door close so essentially this is the door closing now what we are going to do is this is the kind of the complicated part we're going to make a new variable called door and then closed <coughs> closed slash open so this is and we're going to make that throw of spread so this is essentially whether the door is open or closed Fairly simple, so we're going to hit OK on that. We're going to make sure when flag is clicked, we're going to hide this variable, because we don't really want this showing. It's kind of useless. Okay, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to put a if and then else thing here. So if and then, and then it equals, and then we want to put if and then door opened close equals open. So now if the door equals open, it's going to close it. So essentially what we have to do is when flag is clicked, set door closed open to open. 
We're doing this essentially because we want to reset the door essentially every time we start the game. So anyway, if door close equals open, and then we're going to set this after it's broadcasted. Door, We're going to set, after the broadcast door closed, we're going to set door closed to closed. That's essentially going to tell us that it's closed. Now, in this else section, we're going to put if and then equals, and then we're going to put door open in this little slot right here, and this is if and then equals equals closed. And essentially here is if it equals closed, we're gonna new broadcast a new message. This new message is gonna be called open door. So essentially it's going to open the door. And then after that to set door closed open to open. So that's a very basic code for it. Um if you well not really basic to beginners, but um if we want a good sound effect, we can actually get this sound effect. I like it's called machine. And we can use this and we can uh, of course fiddle around with it a little bit. And then anyway, what we're gonna do is this is the closed sound effect, so start sound machine when the sprite is clicked. We can also do something again which I like doing. So machine, search up machine again, and then make it a little bit louder, add a robot effect, and then add reverse. So essentially, this sound is closing, this sound is reverse. So I mean opening. So then we put play machine 2 in here, so now essentially it plays this sound if the door is closing, this sound if the door is opening. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to make a new sprite called door animation. So this is essentially going to be called, this is essentially the animation. Animation. Okay. So, with this door animation, it's just going to be an animation of it closing and opening, etc. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this, so we're going to take gray, let's get gray, make it like a box like this. And then what we want to do is we want to make the office show because we want to fit it to the office, of course. So let's make it show good front. Let's just make all oh, oh, this other stuff hide. Okay, so here we have the office, and the door is going to close right here, essentially. So what we want to do is we want to make this show right front, and we want to make sure it fits directly onto this so it's the right size. It's a little bit wide right now, so we're going to tune it down a bit. Okay, now that we've fitted the door, this is all good, we're going to add a little bit more things to essentially make the door look a tiny bit better, because it looks very bland right now. So what we could do, and you don't have to do this, always feel free in this tutorial series to change up what you're doing and make it your own. We're going to put a circle, kind of something like this. So we're going to make it like that, and then we're not going to make it fill at all. Set the thickness to 8 and do this. Essentially, with this, we can now put this here. Just like that, and we're going to make it diagonal. So it's going to be like, if you've ever seen Ghostbusters, it's going to be like that. So. Then it's going to be like that, and then if you want to even make it a little bit more interesting, which personally is what I like to do, I'm just going to take this part right here, and if you want to select multiple things at once, hold down shift and then click all of them, and we're going to hit copy, and then paste. So just like that, we have a little door thing here. So in my opinion, that does look pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have to make the animation. So you want to duplicate this, 
First of all, actually, what you want to do is you want to circle this and hit this goop button up here. So now that it's grouped, we can select the entire thing, as you see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the costume. And with that, we are essentially just going to lift it up a little bit, just like that. And then we're going to duplicate it again. And then just do the same thing over and over again. I'm going to cut this part out since it's fairly simple. So essentially just keep duplicating the costume and then moving it up. Okay, now as you can see we're at the 12th costume. And we're really close to being done. So we can just simply select it and delete it. Okay, now that we've done that, we've pretty much done the animation. We just need to code it. So you know the code for the door which we set up broadcast door close and broadcast op open door? We're going to use that. So let's first go when flag is clicked hide. And then we're going to put go to this position. So essentially, let's just see if that works. Oops, costume to costume 1. Yeah. Okay, so that works. So go to this and then switch costume to costume 1. We're going to drag this up here and then just add a forever go to front so we can see this stuff. Anyway, what we're going to do now is when I receive door close switch costume to costume 12 wait 0 0.01 seconds and then next costume and I usually do this around like okay I just do repeat 11 here so essentially it looks like this So, this is the door open animation, so I just changed this to door open right here. Open door. So, this is the door open animation, and then after that, we just simply want to put a hide. And that sound effect's going to play. So, that looks pretty good to me. And you also want to put a show on here. So, yeah, that's the door opening animation. So, the code you're going to want for the door closing animation is you're going to want this code, so switch costume costume 12, wait 0 0.1, 0 0.01 second, second switch costume costume 11, and you just want to repeat this down all the way to 1, instead of hide at the end, put a show at the end. So this is the opening door, this is the closing door. So anyway, now that you've done that, you should have successfully completed your door. Now we are going to make this show somewhere, so currently, when this shows, Let's make it go to front. It shows right here. Now, if you want, for me, I'm going to put the door button right on the desk, just right here. So, let's make the door button go to, let's say, 16 on the X and then negative 12 on the Y. And then you can just save that right now. So, essentially, now what we should have is a fully working door. So. First, what we have to do is we have to set, if you want to test your door to see if it works, set door to open, set door to open right here, and then simply just click the door button. See? That will work. So, the door is currently open, we click it, it closes it, the door is currently closed, let's click it again, and it opens it. And we can see this variable here, which will hide when we start the game, actually working. So, now that we've done the door, that is pretty solid. Also, for stuff like vents, since we have a vent over here and blinds over here that we're going to be able to close, just literally do the exact same code, except, of course, make it so the door animation actually fits here. So, next episode, we're going to take up animatronic movement, etc., which is going to be mildly difficult, but you guys should be able to understand it. And in the episode after, part 11, we're going to take up how to defend against the animatronics and making mechanics. So, in between next episode and this one, you're going to see that I actually have the blinds able to close and the vent. But that's going to be fairly simple. In order to do that, just duplicate this code, essentially, and then just make the separate animation. And then just make it, of course, fit this area. 
So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and bye!